Hey guys, what's up? It's me, The Scroll, and welcome back to RS3. Welcome to episode 4 of the Rebuild series. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna mention that these types of videos or these episodes of the series are just going to be coming out once a week. Most of it is because the stuff I do at RuneScape is pretty repetitive if you know what I mean. And I think it would be boring to watch for you guys, so I just didn't make a video even though I can. So I can only make these types of videos if there was something happening with the boss that I'm doing. Maybe something like getting lucky at Araxor or maybe getting an item at raids. And that's basically what happened in this episode. So yeah, I guess enough rambling. I hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah. So our first stop in this episode is the Corporal Beast. I won't even bother in pronouncing it right since the proper pronunciation sounds really wrong. Corporeal Beast? What? So I checked this boss out and I think it is pretty good money if you have the proper gear to solo it. Duo is also quite nice but in this video I just solo the boss. So the gear that I use is the malevolent body and legs. I also use the bandos helm since my malevolent helm just degraded to dust. I also use the ring of vigor, the amulet of souls, the melee healing cape, and a brawler's aura. Most importantly the weapon that I use is the chaotic spear. I couldn't really afford buying the Mizuyari since it is very expensive at the moment. It's like at 25 mil and it is very impractical to do so since I'm still building and it is only useful at core. I will try this boss again in the future but only if I have the Mizuyari and the Dreadnips, maybe for the pet. I just wanted to try it with the gear that I have and I think it's not consistent enough for me to do so. I just think that the mechanics are too tedious especially since you lack the accuracy. You can't even go there with the yak. I really wanted to try out this boss and have fun with it but I guess I can't. So you can see in the video the loot that I got that's about 3 mil in that inventory. It's pretty good money I just have to get the proper gear for it in the future and yeah. Nothing has been really happening at raids right now just a typical Beastmaster and Yakamaru kill. But finally I was able to learn how to pet tank at Beastmaster Durzag. It was really easy I just had to carry a versus wand and a shield along with my noxious staff. I didn't have the luxury to have a range setup which is the recommended setup when you're tanking the pets but I think that doesn't matter since the pets are really weak and you can tank them pretty easily with just spamming defensive abilities. You'll just have to time your voking right and I guess that will be pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. Pet tanking is really easy and if you're planning to learn how to do it just know that sometimes it can be easier than DPS. So my kill count at Beastmaster at the moment is 15 and my kill count at Yakamaru is 13. I would average maybe 1 mil per kill at Beastmaster and 2 mil per kill at Yakamaru. That will be a really nice addition in my loot tab. That's pretty decent and I think I'll be getting my act OP soon, maybe a boots or gloves. I don't know but I'll be looking forward to it. So I've been doing a rack sword consistently in the last few days or so, especially since path 2 and 3 rotation was recently out. I'm still using my mage setup so that I can get increased chances in getting the fang. I think it's worth the extra effort but sadly I haven't gotten a fang yet or maybe any other hilt. I would gladly prefer a fang though but I think getting an eye or a web can still be decent I guess. So in path 2 and 3 rotation I managed to get 260% in rage. The bleeds and darkness were pretty insane but all in all I think it is still pretty decent to do mage. So during the kills that I did at path 2 and 3 rotation going to 260% in rage, I encountered the most unexpected drop ever from a Raxor. For all those people that rerolled their drops just for the base pet, I think you're gonna be very angry. So yeah, I just got the base pet. I'm not even sure how to react since I don't get these pets often. I was dry for pets in maybe a year or so. So in the last episodes I got the Nemura pet, the Gorvek pet, and now the Araxite pet. What the heck Jagex. So now I'm gonna aim for the Barry pet and the Mallory pet at Araxor and these drops are being affected by 200 KC thresholds so that gives me another incentive to do Araxor over and over and over again. Yeah, that's insane. I don't really mind as long as I don't go dry on legs and hilts. And guess what? I didn't really go dry. In the very next kill, I got the top leg. Holy moly. Did I just say that? And maybe after 15 kills or so, I got the middle leg. My luck is pretty insane at Araxor. So maybe I will get the bottom leg. And nope, I didn't. 
So currently it is path 1 and 3 rotation and I'm doing path 3 right now and I think it is the most difficult path to choose especially since it is this rotation and I'm also using magic there so yep. One more leg to go and I'll be able to add 150 mil in my loot tab and that will be pretty amazing and I think I'll be able to get my noxious scythe again and I'll be able to grind for that noxious bow while using the noxious scythe at various bosses and once I get that bow the series is gonna end but I think I'm gonna be starting another series and that will be the road to green party hat that series was originally what I intended to do before actually is taking all of my bank so yeah I guess the long grind will not end until I get that green party hat probably in the next episode I'll be getting the noxious scythe so give me all your GLs in the comment section below so that I can get that bottom leg as soon as possible and yeah and before I dry streak 100 kills <laughs> please don't let that happen so I'm really happy and all that stuff and since it is path 1 and 3 rotation I can only do 6 kills per day since I'm not using any pheromones I decided to visit Talos one more time so that I can properly learn his mechanics I've already learned his mechanics but phase 3 it's just AIDS man. So you've probably guessed my gear now. The gear that I'm using is the same as the gear that I'm using at Araxor. And I think it's working pretty well at the moment. But the inventory setup that I'm using is different. But my yak is still full of sharks. So here is the inventory setup. You can see that in the video. Even though with all of that bruise. In the end of the phase 4 I just lose it all. Uh, I would maybe have 4 sharks left and stuff. And of course, I won't be expecting any money from Telos since every time I die, my loot just disintegrates into little bits. I'm just hoping to get to 100% enrage and learn phase 5 as well. But I think for now, I'll be struggling to do even under 100% enrage. So I'll just have to learn Talos bit by bit until I get used to it. And yeah, I guess I'll inform you by then. I think if I'll be able to get consistent over 100% enrage kills, I'll be able to make a loot from 10 hours of Talos. And that will be pretty exciting. But for now, I'm still learning. And I'm still getting used to it. It's just a money sink for me right now. I just price checked my loot tab and it's worth 150 mil at the moment. But I'm not gonna show you that yet since that is going to be shown at the next episode. And I'm gonna be selling it potentially along with my cash tag and with my Dragon Rider Lance that will be 200 mil. And along with my leg pieces that will be 300 mil. So that's 50 mil spared after buying my Noxious Scythe. And maybe after some grinding I'll be able to afford my Nox bow and that will be the end of the series. Heck maybe even next episode will be the end of the series but only time will tell and yeah. So I guess that is really the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always stay awesome and farewell. Yeah.